welcome back to another episode of Monster Monday. I got to change the name. It's he it was supposed to come out on the Monday, but the old vampire we you know, had to have some dental work done again, and uh, all done with dental work finally. See, I bit into a hardened criminal. Uh huh, and, and I, I I broke a tooth, so. I am going to try to veer away from the hardened criminals. So anyway, I'm going to dedicate this episode. See, the teeth are falling out still. Ah, bad dental work. But I'm going to dedicate this episode uh, to some new friends. They're the Migo hunters they they're a big fan of the meagle toys uh, the, the toy the superheroes the monsters anything meagle they they love it they like the vintage stuff from the 80s so if you have any meagle toys that you want to sell head on over to twitter and say hello to the Migo Toy Hunters, or the Migo Hunters. Uh, <clears throat> I talked about them yesterday in my uh, quick look thing at it. At, oh, Elvira, oh boy, does she melt vampires with cold heart. Oh, she melts my butter. Oh, Elvira. Um, pop, um, pop, mau, mau. You set my heart on fire, Elvira. You know that one? Oh my goodness, from the Oak Ridge Boys. But anyway, we're going to be taking a look at the 1931 version of Frankenstein. Yes, the monster, not the doctor. I wish they had came out with the doctor. The Dr. Frankenstein, the only thing I have is Dr. Frankenstein, but I'll be reviewing him soon too sometime. Uh, he, he, oh, so cool. I like Gene Wilder. Now rest in peace, Gene Wilder. You made me laugh so much. But anyway, this is the Boris Karloff Frankenstein. And this was based off of the book written by Mary M. Shelley. Yes, Mary Shelley, she wrote the scary book. But that was back in the Victorian era when they said, oh, women can't be doing this. So she was in cahoots with Lord Byron. And they got the book published. And I am so glad because that's a good book. You have not read it? Vampire was there when she wrote it. Gave her ideas, I did. Because I brought her bodies. So anyway, Boris Karloff. Got some history here. <clears throat> was born William Henry Pratt in Landis, England on November 23rd, 1887. you imagine that? 1887? Oh! When vampire was very little man, it's just a tiny little vampire. I, I, I met the guy who, who was uh, he wasn't in the Crusades. He fought the Romans. Yes, fought the Romans in England. But anyway, Boris Karloff died oh, February 2nd, 1969. Imagine talking to somebody who was born from the 1800s. For you mortals, no vampire, I'm a damn fear. So I'm part human, so eventually I'm going to get old. You can see the gray here and here. Eventually, I'm going to get old, but it's going to take me a very long time. Very. See, I'm almost 300 years old now, and I, I still got to look. Okay, but anyway, history on his makeup. Now, Boris Karloff, he was very secretive about his makeup process. He didn't want anybody to know. He didn't want anybody to steal his ideas. So he would lock himself away in the makeup room and put it on himself. It took four hours to apply the makeup and his costume. 
his costume total weight was 48 pounds. His shoes alone were 12 pounds each. Those big elevated shoes that he wore. And he had steel struts sewn into a double layered pair of pants to give his legs that stiff leg walk. That's why he would walk all funny because he couldn't bend his legs. And he was afraid that if he just practiced without the, the struts that his knees would bend accidentally. So he was very, as you would put it, method. So he, he wanted the, the real deal. So Frankenstein, 1931, had a budget of $291,000. It was an estimate. And it grossed $1,626 worldwide. Oh my goodness, talk about being in the red. <laughs> oh, Vampira likes the red. He had a red, nice red color coat in a red shirt in the red blood but when you're in the red financially that stinks so that is why universal studios was going down the toilet and then in 1932 my old buddy dracula made his movie and that saved universal studios as i have mentioned several times before okay history lesson over so let's go ahead and take a look at this very nice action figure. Uh, I, I wanted to save this for a special occasion. So for my friends with the Meagle Hunters, this is for you guys. I say special monster for you. That's all Vampire really has in Meagle are the monsters. So anyway, Thank you, gentlemen, for contacting me on that tweet thing, and I will tweet you back. Tweet, 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 tweet. Okay, you'll tweet it back, kind of like my bat does. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this monster. Oh, look at this very nice looking monster. You could see here, this is a clip from the movie. The man laying on the table, and they, they make him up a bunch of parts, and you could see, well, right there, you can see up in the corner of the beakers, it says, Frankenstein, 8-inch action figure, 14 points of articulation. This is a horror figure. But, let me flip it around so we can do the credits. Look at, oh my goodness, look at that, that's scary, oh my goodness, a scary monster, he had the bolts in the neck, and that was to electrify him, and Dracula has special things in, that he carries to wake up Frank Stein there in, with his, his a magic ring or whatever he carries. So down here, it says consultant with your special thanks right here consultant dr meagle and the sculptors was sean sanson and seamstress was rachel baker so all of these crews are handmade they make the patterns and they cut them and then they have to sew them it's very difficult to do that so little vampire going to use the scalpel blade I'm going to open this up. Yes, oh, Vampire likes opening toys. This is toy channel, so Vampire gets to open up the toys. This is kind of a dull scalpel blade because I've been using it for other things. It's time to get a new one, I think. Yeah, this, this isn't very sharp, but it's time to get a new one using it to open boxes. Oh, darn it. Didn't want to do that. So. Oh, bugger. So, hold on one second. I was trying to protect the integrity of the card back and ended up doing it. It's all right. I'm vampire and broken hearted, but that's okay. The nickel tape could fix it. 
So here we are looking at the Frankenstein monster. Oh my goodness. He, the hands go out. Friend. Smoke. Good. So he, he said that in the movie. His wrists do rotate uh, uh, 360 degrees and he has a high how are you doing wrist action. Look at the sculpt on those hands. It's very, very nice. The shoulders go out so far and they click and pop and almost dislocated his shoulders. He has this nice little coat on. Let's go ahead and open up his coat. Oh, he's rocking it. He got a t-shirt on. But man, he's got the going. And his black pants that go around. And you can see up here underneath, boy, he's got himself a six pack. Yeah, he's he's really rocking it. And these platform shoes. These are elevated shoes. These shoes were 12 pounds each. Um, these are actually kind of in style from in the early 21st century. These came back for a little bit and they were in style in the 60s. I remember seeing a movie with the guy that had fish in the bottom of his. So his boots go up so far. He has no socks on. Oh, he's really Don Johnson. You know, he got the jacket with the t-shirt and shoes with no socks. Boy, I'm sure Don Johnson's shoes smelled pretty good after. Oh my goodness, heaven forbid. He got the very socks. So you can see it's very close to the, the picture. See, let's pull the picture back up. You can see it. Very nice likeness. He has the hooded eyelids. That's what they call hooded. When your eyelids are droopy like that and have extra skin, it's called a hooded eyelid. Uh, his lips are closed. His mouth is closed. His lips are black. He, they, they did the paint applications on the bolt there on his neck. Very nice. Good profile. Likes the cut of his jib, I do. He has the flat head. He was rocking the flat top before it was popular. So Frankenstein, he built a trendsetter. And he has these clips right here. These are surgical clips to hold his skull into place. They would actually put those under the skin in real life when they were... They use plates and screws now when they remove parts of your skull and have to reattach it. It's called the bone flap. They, they use little plates and screws and put those in your head. So you can say that you... When somebody says, hey, you're screwed, you can say, yeah, you're right, I am. See his arms there with the short sleeves? They want, wanted that effect with the short sleeves to make him seem like he was a very giant man, that he, he was huge and imposing. But really, he was, he was just a nice guy. Really, Frankenstein was a nice guy. He wanted to play with the little girl, and they were throwing flowers in the water, and they run out of flowers, and they picked him up. She picked, he picked up the little girl and threw her in the water. But that got edited out in the original version because it was too violent. And I can understand that. You know, it's not nice to throw a child in the water. Even when you're just goofing around, that's how people get hurt and people drown. I, I never threw my, my, children, my child, my daughter, in the water. If we were in the water, I'd pick her up and throw her, but I was right there to catch her. So just look at that face. It's nice. He's got the little cut on the forehead and another bolt there on his neck. But this is a very good action figure. You can see the knees bend and the moves, the legs move out, you know. Walking. Walking like that. Oh, beer, good. Yeah. He, he liked to drink, too. He Boy, did he enjoy drinking in that movie. So there you have it, guys. There's the Frank Stein. Thank you very much, Migo Hunters, for contacting Old Vampire. And I kept my promise to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So everybody, thank you so much for tuning in, looking at Monster with Old Vampire. And I just realized this. I'm wearing the top hat and a red coat. Looking kind of like Hugh Jackman. 
in that, that Barnum and Bailey circus movie. So I'm a runaway circus act. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to to my channel, for watching Joe Motions, uh, G.I. Joe's. He'll be doing a video pretty soon. And uh, I'll be doing a video pretty soon next week. And I, I really appreciate you guys. You'll make them feel very happy. Please leave me a comment. I answer you back. Yes, I do. And Joe Motion, he answers you back too. Because we're good guys about that. So please hit that subscribe button. There'll be a giveaway when we hit 600 subscribers. Joe Motion has a giveaway. No vampire. He decided he's going to have a giveaway of a monster. Yes, giveaway monster to somebody. So... Anyway, you guys, you take care. You stay safe out there, okay? Please, it's uh, stormy weather. You stay inside. Don't go under trees. See, they gone. He does a nice, nice show uh, over in his channel titled "They Gone." Uh, they he 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 gives safety tips, and so you don't stand under a tree when it's lightning in because it, it might get zapped. So it's the tallest thing out there, but anyway, you guys be careful with the tornadoes and stuff and the flooding. Don't drive through a flood, okay? You see high water, you don't drive through it, okay? It's just out here in Arizona, we had the stupid motorist law. Yes, because the state got tired of rescuing people. So they made it a crime to drive through a flooded area. You get charged, you get fined. You get charged with the crime for getting stuck and having the rescuers come out and get you. So, anyway, you guys, you take care. Stay safe. Be kind to everybody. You never know what kind of day somebody having. You go up and say, hi, how are you doing? Open door for somebody. Say, oh, vampire says hi. Okay. And you be nice to your, and your animals, your little puppies and your kitties. And if you have a rat or a snake, oh, that's fantastic. I like the lizards, too. Yeah. Yeah, I had a girlfriend that had pet rats, and they were very nice. And, you know, I had, had, had the guinea pig. But anyway, you be nice to your animals. Okay? So, you guys, we'll see you later next week. This is Vampire saying bye-bye. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> I know how to pick locks. So, I get in and say hi and give you a Mego toy. Okay, bye.